After serving eight years as Minnesota's governor, I was very much looking forward to life with Mary and her two daughters in the Midwestern home that we love. But with Mary's encouragement and wise counsel, we came to a different conclusion. And that's what brings me here today with this announcement. I'm Tim Pawlenty, and I'm running for President of the United States. greatest country the world has ever known. But as we all know, America's in big trouble. And it won't get fixed if we keep going down the same path. If we want a new and better direction, we're going to need a new and better president. President Obama's policies have failed. But more than that, he won't even tell us the truth about what it's really going to take to get out of this mess that we're in. I could stand here and tell you that we could solve America's debt crisis and fix our economy without making any tough choices. Well, we've heard those kinds of empty promises before and for the last three years. And we, we know where that's gotten us. Fluffy promises of hope and change. They don't buy our groceries, make our mortgage payments, put gas in our car, or pay for our children's school clothes or other needs. So in my campaign, I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to tell you the truth. And the truth is, Washington, D.C. is broken. Our country's going broke, and the pain of the recent recession will pale in comparison to what's coming if we don't get spending in Washington, D.C. under control. President Obama doesn't have an economic plan. Obama doesn't have an economic plan, he just has a campaign plan, and the United States of America deserves much, much better. President Obama promised that spending $800 billion on a pork-filled stimulus bill would keep unemployment under 8%. He promised that bailouts for well-connected businesses were a good deal for the country. He promised that a federal takeover of health care would keep costs under control. And as hard as it is to believe, he even promised that he would cut the deficit in half during his first term as president. But the truth is, since President Obama took office, the massive numbers of spending decisions that he's made, the debt has gone through the roof, Americans can't find jobs, and we're $4 trillion deeper in debt. And his health care plan? is an unmitigated disaster for our country. We've tried President Obama's way, and his way has failed. Three years into his term, we're no longer just running out of money. We're running out of time. It's time for new leadership. It's time for a new approach. And it's time for America's president, and anyone who wants to be president, to look you in the eye and tell you the truth. So here it is. Government money isn't free. You and I either pay for it in taxes or our children pay for it in debt. The reforms we need are not in the billions. They're in the trillions of dollars. And the cuts we need to make, the cuts we must make, can't just be to somebody else's programs. The changes history is calling on America today to make can't be shouldered by people richer than us, or poorer than us, but by us too. Politicians are often afraid that if they're too honest, they may lose an election. I'm afraid that in 2012, if we're not honest enough, we may lose our country.